Hey, Quinn. Hi. What's up? Hey. How are you guys doing today? I know that I took this video so many times and I've had so many technical difficulties that I am ready for bed. But I want to tell you guys what kind of video I am making today. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you how to start a bullet journal. I know when I first started, I was like flooded with so many different things and wondering what pages should come first. I wrote down in a notebook all the different kinds of pages and different kind of drafts and in this video, I just am showing how I started my bullet journal and although in my past videos, I've been showing Lenome um, A5 Die Journal, but I decided that I want this to be my personal journal and I'm going to have another journal that I can do YouTube spreads and different YouTube videos in. So that journal is going to be the Vivid Scribbles A5 Dotted Notebook and I like this so far. I got it off Amazon and I love the bright yellow color. So in the beginning of the video I do a little flip through of this and I really enjoy it so far and I will see you guys at the end of this video. Alright, voiceover Emily time. This is the yellow Vivid Scribbles dotted journal and it is bright yellow which I love and it has three bookmarks, an elastic band, and finally a pen loop. Let's get started. To start out I'm going to be writing my name, Emily, in the cover page and it says date started and it is May 2020 for when I'm going to be doing this. There's a key and index as well, but personally I don't get much use out of a key or index, so I decided to leave these pages blank. Now we're getting to the fun stuff, and probably the most tedious part of starting a bullet journal. I'm starting out with a little quote page, and this I also used in my other journal, and I just really liked this quote, and it says, The two most powerful warriors are time and patience. And writing this out, I am doing um, some just normal hand lettering and then some cursive. Um, and I am using my Pentel sign pen. I'm erasing because I did this all in pencil beforehand. And now I am shadowing with my Zebra Mild Liner in gray, just time and patience. As I said, this will be the most tedious part of starting a bullet journal, and it is hand making all of the calendars. I personally like to hand make them, even though I make mistakes. I have a white pen, so I can kind of correct them, but I personally like hand making them. I think it just makes it more personal, and you get to add your own touch to it. As you can see, I made a little mistake there, so I used my Uniball white Signo pen and corrected that. And I'm using my Prismacolor Fine Liner in 01 for all of these calendar works, including writing out the days at the top and writing the numbers when we get there. To add a little more detail, I'm taking my Tombow Dual Brush Pen in N75 and just creating the header for the days to go in, and I think it added just something extra to this page. When it comes to writing the days in, you want to make sure you're looking at your phone calendar or even another paper calendar just to make sure you don't mess up anything because once you mess one thing up, the rest of it gets messed up as well.
One of the last things to do for this page is writing out the month and I only wrote the first three letters of every month and to do this I'm just using my pencil to start out with and just did some elongated lettering and then I'm taking my Tombow Fudenusuke um, brush pen. I believe it is the harder tip I am using. It's really hard to tell and just tracing those letters. And now I am doing a little bit, something a little different than what I did in my personal bullet journal. And I'm using a Tembo dual brush marker pen in N15, I want to say. Um, or no, it's N25. And I'm just filling it in, but we're going to come back to that in a minute. Now we are working on the future log. And I kept this pretty similar to my personal bullet journal. I just didn't fill in the dates or any holidays or events or anything like that. Just kept it very simple, did all the calendars in my Prismacolor 01 fine liner, and used a ruler obviously just because it helps me. If I freehand, my lines will be all wobbly and I am personally not a fan of that. I like having crisp clean lines, so that is why I used the ruler. Again, I am taking my Tombow dual brush pen in N75 to fill in that header spot for the days of the week. And I start my days on Sunday. Some people start them on Monday, depending where you live. But personally, I like to start them on Sunday. Here I'm taking my Pentel sign pen in black and writing out future log at the top of the page and then I'm going to be taking my Prismacolor 03 fine liner and writing out holidays, birthdays, appointments, school, and date night. And this will be my key and I color code it with green, yellow, pink, orange, and a periwinkle color. Now I'm erasing all the stuff from the calendar page and my future log just to get all the pencil marks out of the way. And we are going to go back into detailing that black strip. To add some detail, I'm taking my silver sharpie and my white pen, my white uni ball pen, and adding some stars and sparkle marks. And eventually I add some gold in there, but not until the very end. I apologize in advancement for the clips and the lighting here. I'm using natural lighting and it got darker and lighter randomly and then my camera started acting weird so some of these clips are split funny but in this spread I am making a grid spacing sheet and I did 26 across and 39 down because that's how many grids there are or boxes and I just measured out how many would be in a quarter so I did 8 and 9 because it can be both and then there, that would mean that there's 4 up and 4 down and I did that in a pink Tombow dual brush pen and then blue is thirds and that is 12 going down and then 8 going across. Then for fifths it is 7 going down and 4 going across and I had to use my white pen just to help with some corrections because 
I got very confused <laughs> at this part, so you see me using my white pen there. Again, using my Pentel sign pen to write out grid and then using a Prisma fine liner in 03 for the spacing and erasing all the pencil marks underneath. This is where technical issues started. So I began to do this next spread and it only filmed a little bit of it. So you'll see the final result at the end, but I really liked this page and I might add something like this to my personal bullet journal, but it says, when you wish upon a star, dreams can come true. The next spread that I put in my bullet journal is things to check out. And I think this is a really great spread to do at the beginning of your bullet journal because you can create lists of the books, TV shows, movies, and music. Wow, blanked there for a second. Um, just list them out of what you want to listen to or watch or read and then you have a place to write it down. I'm using my Prismacolor fine liner in 03 just to have some bolder lettering and I'm just doing a few little doodles. I'm drawing some books. I drew some music notes. Here I'm drawing a just a little TV that by the TV shows. And then I drew some film strips, and I'm not a pro at this, um, so it's a little wonky, but I did my best, and I used my white pen to add those details. To work on the title, I'm using my Pentel sign pen in gray to kind of look as make it look as if it's a shadow and wrote things to check out and then I use my Tombow Fudenosuke pen to write in cursive things to check out over the first title. And now I'm taking my gold and silver sharpies on to make books and I was making sure it didn't bleed to the other side. It only did a little bit but I'm not too upset about it. Moving on to the things I did, which is right next to it, and I left this one blank because I haven't done much because we've been in quarantine and stay-at-home orders, so I left that one pretty simple. We are on to the last spread, which is my wish list spread. And in this, I have two different categories, which is school and personal. And I'm not really sure how to describe this lettering that I'm doing, but it's most of the word. And then there's one row that's taken out so I can write the letters smaller there. And then I am separating out those two columns and using a light pastel color to do a background color and using my Tombow Fudenosuke pens to write school and personal. As I promised, we got back to this page and I'm just showing the supplies I used to complete it and I really like how this turned out. That is it, everyone. Here is a quick flip through of what it looks like all together. I really like how these spreads work for me and I think they are very simple for someone who is just starting out bullet journaling. And you can make it as detailed and creative as you want. I like a more simplistic look but still have that pop of color or sparkle or shimmer. Something that makes it stand out a little bit. Well, that is it everybody. That is how I started my bullet journal and I think it's a really easy way for beginners to do it. I don't have a lot of the vision board pages. I have one 2020 dreams page, but that's about it for vision board dreams kind of things. Um, this is how it just I set it up and it's really been working well for me. I feel like I don't personally use a key that much or an index or would get a lot of use out of it. So that is why I didn't do anything in there as I said earlier. But I think that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on Wednesday with another video. Please comment down any video suggestions you'd like me to do. I am open to anything, 
I can even do makeup tutorials if you want because I love to do my makeup and I can talk about myself, talk about what I'm doing in school, anything you guys want to hear about. I think that's it. Thank you very much for watching. There is a red box at the bottom that says subscribe. You can click it to see more content that I will put out there and release every Wednesday and Sunday. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.